good morning. Good morning. Hey, this is Rasha First Nations Federation. No one will bring a change for you. No God will come from the sky. No Jesus will come and save you. No Allah, no Buddha. Only you can save yourself. Grand Rising, good morning. No system will bring a change for you. I tell you this this morning, my brother, a sister, my friend, my Adrian, you are your only change. The church will never make things better for you, the state will never make things better for you. Dance will never make things better for you. No matter the occupation you have, it will never make things better for you. You are your only betterment. Are you happy? Do you feel loved? Are you respected? Do you feel appreciated in this system? Do you feel the system wants us? The system does not care about us. The system does not care about us. Same thing they do to you they do unto our fourth parents and the same thing will be done unto your children because the system does not care about no one the system see you as vessels in this system you are vessels we are ships we are dead we are lost at sea the system don't regard us as living. So why are we still in the system? It's not our signature which gives the system strength and motivations. If you don't sign a document in this system, they will never be motivated. Your signature. So why we continually use our signature to keep us in bondage? Who are we? What are we? Every system come there do us, do us the same thing. Food, clothes, shelter, dead, past, gone. Your children them come do the same thing. That's all them work for. Food, clothes, shelter, dead, past, gone. Who's, benefit, who's benefiting from all this? The people are not benefiting. Look in India. They have a system in India by the name of Tonsure. T O N S U R E. Where all the females are gathered every year, every single year. 
and their hair are cut. These women does not know that that ritual, those priests in those churches, those synagogues of India, will sell back their hair onto the Western world. So these innocent women in India claims that God loved hair and they made a promise to God to give God their hair. So every woman in India, approximately three to four times in their lifetime, they trim every single drip of hair, every single root of hair off their head and give it unto the synagogue as a present to God. Now, these ear enter into the Western world and destroy families. Thirty toes now pack, forty toes now pack, fifty toes now pack, sixty toes now pack, fifteen toes now pack for a pack of hair. Which another set of women was manipulated through religion to cut their hair and give it unto the synagogues in India so that they can sell and transport it back to the Western world in the ear factories. So you get Brazilian ear, Indian ear, human ear. And these ear are destroyed families because many women in relationship them take the food money. The food money where the honest man go look for give them for buy food and buy a pack of hair for 20 grand and a pack of hair for 30 grand and say it is beauty. What is beauty? Nothing is beautiful about this world and nothing is beautiful about these people. What is beauty? So many relationships are destroyed by reasons of these here. Because a woman wants a pack a year for 20 grand or a pack a year for 30,000. Which another woman in India sacrifice? Didn't you know that ear has a greater value than gold? Check it out. This may be so nabby, but your hair have a greater value more than gold. You go check it out. So say to say, religion and politics, they are leading the people straight to the pit of hell. Religion does not care about you. Politician does not care about you. Jesus never existed. Jesus will never exist and Jesus will never come. I am not for the black man. I am not for the white man. I'm not for the Chinese. I'm not for a religion. I'm not for a doctrine. I'm not for a political party or a political sector. We are nothing but one people. And not until we realize our enemy, we shall be divided. Mother will be against son, and father will be against daughter, and the house will be upturned by roots of misunderstanding. Time is short, and it's only present. Your present is short. We all enter through a short present. Many people say about the past. Many people are say about the future. What about the past? The past is still the present. Because the past is still today. That is my knowledge. The past itself is still today. The past is the present past is still today and the future is now the future is the present the past is the present all things are present 
and we have to understand that all things are present. If you consider the past and if you consider the future, you'll always be at war, you'll always be at conflicts, you'll always be at unresolved conflicts also. Because when you consider the past, you consider history. You consider what was done to you, but you never consider what was done to others. When you think about future, you think about your only success. You don't think about another success. There's no past, there's no, there's no past and there's no future. All things are present. Everything is in presence. No past tense, no future tense. All things are of the present. Again, I say, if you consider the past, you go at war, you go at hatred. If the so-called black people said that they are going into their past, they will eliminate each and every single white person who they see upon creation by reasons of their past. There is no past. There is no past. It's all a lie, it's all illusion, all things are present. Forgive a brother, forgive a sister. Repent, say sorry, from deep within thyself. We have no savior. We are all we got. Government does not care about us. Vatican does not care about us. Room does not care about us. The Jesse Suits does not care about us. England, Egypt does not care about us. No corporations of this earth care about us. One thing they do is use us and control us. Every government is a liar. Every government is a criminal. Every government is a thief. Every government is a pirate. Every government is a tyrant. Every government is a corporation. Your birth certificate is a bond paper. You own not yourself. You have not no name. What is your name? John Brown. What Brown is your surname? Who is your sir? Who is your slave master? So your surname, your last name, is your slave master's name, your oppressor's name, the fake name that you work under. You have not no name. You have not no name. Your first name, your Christian name, that name is given unto Rome. You have not no name, are you a Christian? What means make you a Christian? What means make you a Christian? When Jesus was written off, Jesus never said he was a Christian. He never said that he was God. All this system was created by Vatican by the Jesse suits and the Romans. This system was created by the Jesse suits and the Romans. There's no Christianity. Our religions are false, our religions are fake. Our religions are debt and plundering and oppression of the poor. We are the majority. Every government is the minority. We are the majority. The government must answer, answer to us. We must not answer to government. Again, I say, every government is the minority. Every government must answer to we, the people. We, the people, must not answer to no government. We are private citizens. The governments are public citizens. They are public sectors. They are public service workers. We are private citizens upon this, end, upon this creation. Every government, the governments must answer to us. We must not answer to government. We are the ones who put them in political status. We are the ones who put them in religious status. They must answer to us. We must not answer to no government. The governments were put in place by reasons to create a voice for the people. Yes, the government was in place by the people to use as an instrument for the public sectors. We are private sectors. We are private citizens. The governments are public sectors. A 
as I said before, every government is a tyrant. Every government is a killer. The banking system does not care about the people. Some trust in horses, some trust in chariot, some trust in silver, some trust in gold, but they all shall fail. They all shall fail. The system is a lie. The banking system is a crook. The banking system is a scam. There's no banking system. How much do you have 10 acres of land and don't own it? You're a landholder. The title of the earth is owned by Vatican. And as long as we live upon this land under the birth certificate system and the ID system, we'll always be a slave and the Vatican. We've got to step away from the birth certificate system. We've got to step away from their ID system their passport system, their visa system. We need not none of these things to trudge through this earth. Again, I say we need not passport or visas to trudge through this earth. We are the earth rightful trudders. Man come and man go. Woman come and woman go. Child come and child go. We are the earth rightful trudders. We are the everlasting people. Tax is a sin. Tax is corruption. Who is you to tax the people? By what means do you tax the people? By whose choices do you tax the people? This is a system of tyrant, oppression, murder, and robbery. I see you multiply Vatican day by day by reasons of making your children becoming occupants and occupationists. But I tell you this. He or she will piss up at the wall of Babylon can't be saved in time to come. Vatican system shall fall, their monetary system shall burn, their banks shall burn, and their education structure shall burn, their religious centers shall burn. Earth will be silence again. The silence of earth will surely come again. All these systems shall fall. Every government will fail and every government will fall. Because all these governments are corporation. Jamaica is not a nation. America is not a nation. America is a corporation. The United States of America is a corporation. Jamaica is a corporation. As we said before, emancipation, what is emancipation? By reasons of emancipation, all thy land was taken away from the free people. So emancipation is the beginning, is the beginning of the of creating the world prison. Emancipation is the signature and beginning of creating the world prison. And the treat and that, that peace treaty that was signed by the Maroons in Jamaica in the 16th century. That was the foundation of creating the new prison. The Maroons were traitors. The Maroons gave away the true freedom of thy people. The Maroons were never ever a part of us. The Maroons are not different from the Spain they are not different from England. They are not different from Vatican. The Maroon was sent to subdue the people upon this land and then give the people unto England. The Maroons are traitors among us. How must I give away my continent? The entire Americas. Entire Americas, the North and the South Americas, entering through the entire Caribbean. Almost I give away my continent. This is the land of my birth, the land of my freedom, the land of my all things. Before the peace treaty, which was signed by Nani, before the emancipation, 
we could sail to Haiti on a boat. We could sail to Cuba on a boat. We could sail to Florida on a boat. We could sail to the North America on a boat. Yes, we could. by reasons of emancipation, coastal guards and borders of bunches have been drawn upon the surf, upon the waters and within the air. So you have no, you, 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 you have bunches. So I say to you, we have to burn the birth certificate system. We have to burn the ID system. We have to burn the passport system. We have to burn the visa system. We need not no passport. We need not no visa chat through this earth that is why many people are live certain way that's why many people either do anything for get a visa yeah many people either do anything for get a visa because the system the visa feel like say without the visa you are nothing you know much people there in america and they don't use no visa you know much people they are about in Ireland and they don't use no visa the man with them say enter in America illegal a illegal because he is a private citizen right a him, the man with him said enter in America illegal a illegal a him is a private citizen a public a public citizen need a passport and a visa and we are not public citizens we are private citizens the governments are public citizens every government need passport and visa not we the people because the governments are not from here and we know not from whence they came. We are the private citizens upon the land. We need not passport. We need not visa. This is a corporate business to take away the mobilization and the freedom of Thai people. All the people them take from Africa. Look at this boat them take them a boat them take them pan. When him say Nani come to Jamaica, I bought and sell pan. When Marcus get away, they get the Black Star Line and it didn't take time to sell. And he don't have to sell coming like Caribbean. No, 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 what I bought sell pan. But then through corruption and war and some system divide the earth and claims the earth and claims the water because the word law, L-A-W, is, is an abbreviated word and the word law mean land, air, and water, and it is owned by Vatican. Because many people say England owns the land in Jamaica, no England. It's not England. England is either coming like a tax collector. A Vatican owns the land. Vatican. The first of 1302 AD was drafted up by Pope Boniface VIII. And him create the trust of this world. And the trust to him create him claims ownership of the air, the land, and the water, and all the souls of the earth. Incorporating Christianity and use it as a weapon to take over the earth. Each and everywhere him go and try to take it over, him call him pagan, or him call him curse, or him call him a certain name, and say God said this, and say God said that and kill you and take your land and overcome your ancestors them, and give you new religion and Christianity because them draft up a trust to the world through Vatican and the Jesse suits out of the continent of Africa right those in the continent of Africa is a part of many struggles that is going on upon creation. The Jesse suits out of Africa and those in Vatican, they walk hand in hand. Never forgot that. Never forgot that. Vatican and the Jesse suits out of Africa, they walk hand in hand. church and state mm -hmm. it 
simple. Sometimes, I don't like the empress them to look upon the man them different. I don't want to look upon the man them like provision and protection alone. No, you can't be in a relationship with a person by reasons of provision and protection. There must be more to that. And a man don't just look at a woman just so. You just look at just through beauty or, or sexuality or figure and them things. Then. Look for something more than that. Because that it causes a lot of imbalance. Because when a woman see a man as a person for provide and protect, and a man see a woman for beauty and sexuality, not nothing of that. Because when provision and protection cannot be provided, she will go out of the way. And when a woman will look beautiful no more and you're used to her sexual, her, 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 her sexual appeal and then it's up there, you're not happy with her no more. So we the common people, we suffering start with us. We are the beginning, the beginning of our suffering. Because enough people say, and enough people think, if we destroy another person, we'll make them powerful. No. No. A woman will tear down a man, now we make you powerful. And a man will tear down a woman, now we make him powerful. We don't only really create a matter which can be worse and bring other people into the pain. So, if you understand, say, the system was never created for us. A woman now has carry a man to family court. If a woman carry a man to family court, that simply means that it was all about provision. So when the day comes where the man uh, can't find something or can't provide, that simply means that his ambition is dead and it's no use to you. Because you never in a natural relationship with a person. It was all about provision. And sometimes you see something I go on with somebody, this amount, yeah, they might make money and money and flourish, but next month nothing I go on. Because they do have a constant cash flow. So if you go there with a person in at the time when they have constant cash flow, you never see the time when time they may have no cash flow. So sometimes you have to know say, you have to know the two sides of life before you even make a decision, understand all the cash flow and understand all the side of the cash flow. So you can make up your mind in a relationship for go through certain tough times or you say you're not going to work with tough times more than when you take up on yourself and put in a relationship. When the man money done, you're gone. Or when the woman looks sexy no more to you or she looks pretty no more to you, you're gone to far. That doesn't make no sense. Because the beauty there, sometimes an illusion. The most beautiful thing a person are them soul and them spirit and them liberty. How they make you feel? Because feelings have a lot to do with love. Love is feeling, hate is feeling. What you do, how you make me feel, I can feel love. What you do, how you make me feel, it make me feel like you hate me. So love is feeling. And hatred is also feeling. And both can create both. Love can create hatred and hatred can create love. Yeah, so I have to just give thanks though. Yes, I have to give thanks.
there's no winner in a war, you know. Mm -mm. There's no winner in no war. No war at all. There's no winner. War no make no sense. Violence no make no sense. We all are seeking for one goal. And what is the goal? To be happy. If it exists, what is happiness? According to what you want to be happy. According to what you desire to be happy. Stop destroying earth and people seeking happiness. It's wrong. To destroy mankind and others, brothers, sisters, friends, I don't care who you want to be. Seeking your happiness, it's wrong. There's no glory in it. There is no glory seeking happiness while destroying others. There's no glory in it. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever.